doing? Good. Yeah. Sideways, what we're going to basically be doing is working on the ribs sideways, maybe on the lumbar and guts a little sideways, and uh, on the hips sideways. One, again, starting with the deepest work um, is on the hardest work is on the hips, and this is going to work on the sacrum, both hips simultaneously. The hip that's up and the hip that's down, both all everything gets worked. I'm finding my sit bones to find. I'm looking for my sit bones to sit on either side of the hip joint. Here's the ilium, and here's the femur, head of the femur, and this is the hip joint right here. And so I'm going to put one sit bone here and one sit bone there on either side of it to begin with. And that's usually the best place to go because it gets everything at once. Tell me if this feels okay. Put your legs any way you want. You just need to roll your hips back and forth until I feel the balance point. So you go back and forth until you got the balance point. This is too far this way. This is too far this way. You want it to be right in the middle so you can apply your weight oh. and be balanced. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's intense, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to give you full weight. Yeah. I'm just going to give you a little bit. Tell me how much. Higher, lower, left, right. What are you, what are you doing? Is it pretty good? Um, yeah. I could do it. Oh, yeah, that's like right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, she's pretty soft and sensitive. So I can't put my, put my full weight on her. How's that? Yeah, that's good. I'll give you a little bit more weight. Tell me. It's especially sensitive on this side, like on, the, on the front side. Is that better? Yeah. A little more balanced? Yeah. So my hip sits bone was going too much into this side. So now I'm kind of straddling it more perfectly with my uh, pelvic floor. That's really good. How's that feel? Great. Tell me to go higher, lower, left, or right, anytime. So now I'm perfectly balanced here. I'm just sitting, and she's expanding. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm giving her slightly more weight over time. So how are the kids? <laughs> I forgot, I forgot oh, oh, oh. Tell, tell me Calypso. Calypso, that's right. So how are the kids, Calypso? What you been doing lately? Yeah, they're great. They, they, uh, they dressed up and turned into little monsters for oh. Halloween. Do you have kids? No. Okay. <laughs> My brows. <laughs> Does it still feel okay? Yeah, it's good. Okay. See, it's a balance. And once you balance, if it's, a, if, it's a, if it's a delicate balance, you can tend to fall off. But if you're perfectly balanced, then it doesn't take any effort. Mm, that's a really good spot. And you can switch sides, and you can get, you can sit on the other side directly, like I'm sitting on this side directly to really balance the both sides and get both sides evenly and equally. But they're both getting work. Slightly different. Now in this position, in this position with her on her side, I can also lay my femur bone into that hip socket, um, hip hip joint as well. Um, obviously, I'm facing her head right now. I could be completely the other way, facing her feet, sitting on her hips just as I am right now. Or I could, um, sorry, I was a fast release, I didn't go very much. Here's the hips, here's the femur into the, uh, see I'm mapping her now, this I'm mapping her, I know where she's at. So now that I've mapped her a little bit, I know where that joint is, I can lay my femur right into that joint as well. Ooh, yeah, sensitive. See, now I'm perfectly balanced. She's rolling, following oh. her. 
This is the femur into the joint. Again, I could be facing your feet doing this, or facing your head. This is more work. I have to hold my body in this position. But it's a different way to work with it. Oh, good. Um, so that's the basics of sitting on the hip. <clears throat> For the guts, lumbar area, and you you might want to support somebody here, but I don't think you need it. Do you want a pillow underneath here? Uh, I feel fine right now. You feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, for the rest of the work on the side, you do, do it either on this side of the body or that side of the body, either facing the head or facing the feet. So I'm on this side of the body, I'm facing the head. It goes like this. Up into the top part of the, um, of the rib cage. Let that arm go. And I'm going to find your ribs with mine. Let's see, and you can sometimes put that arm here. This is more social. You can talk to them, you can pet them a little bit and say hi, how are you doing? <laughs> and you're working with their ribs. You need to come back a little bit. So that's rib work facing the head on this side, or gut work, lumbar maybe. Mm. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay. And I'm doing this with my similar area. I could put my ribs into it's it, I suppose. A little, a little much? Yeah. Okay. And I've got a way to, you know, get weight off her with my elbow here in case she needs less weight. The other way on this side is facing your feet. This is less personal and it gets into the um, upper part of the rib cage a little bit better sometimes. Let's see, you're very flexible. Let's see, I'm gonna roll you forward and back. Okay. I'm mapping her now, finding out where her ribs are and where they where I can get them easiest. So this is facing the feet from the back and you could give, you know, really gentle pressure if you, you know, give, give you know, do belly work. I'm working with my belly more. Anyway, just play around and see what feels fun and feels good. The other way, sideways, sorry, is also facing her head. this mm -hmm. and I'm gonna stay here for a while okay mm -hmm. see I can roll I can feel where it feels best by rolling around and rolling her forward and back until it feels like I've got the most wherever I want it usually I want to get it so I'm giving good pressure without much effort on my part, right in the side of her ribs. And you should adjust any time that makes it feel better for you. Again, tell me if you like it or don't like it at any given time. Maybe slightly maybe less pressure. Maybe less pressure. And if you want me to go higher, Lower, more forward, or more back. More back is going back. More or less. And if they're taking a deep breath, sometimes it's good to just ease off a bit, let them take a real deep breath, and then. On the exhale, go for some more pressure, typical body work, breath work. So that is facing 
the head coming from the front. Coming from the front, it's a little more personal. Facing the head, it's a little more personal. Now coming from the front, facing her feet. Again, I can get up into her upper ribs, right in here. Pretty easy. And it's a little less personal. Good, more or mm -hmm. less. That's perfect. It's nice to like breathe new oxygen and like into the ribs to mm -hmm. feels like it can create more space inside. Well, this does every joint, all the intercostal joints, forward and back, sternum, lumbar. I mean, that um, uh, that thoracic vertebrae are getting worked on. person and you got a really big person to work on you can sit on their ribs sideways I was working on this guy a big guy and he had this very small girlfriend next to him and she was watching and I said okay you he'll love it if you just sit on the, <laughs> his ribs because you know that'll give sufficient weight I think that's good good okay mm -hmm. so that's the basics on the side. Wow, now I kind of want to like do the other side a little bit. Which one? Oh, you want to something? Wow, oh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Thanks. 